<laughs> Wait, listen. You can't be like the guy who trolls the feds with bomb threats and go like, Wait, what do you mean? You know me. I'm the guy who I, I'm. I'm the the bomb troll. You can't. Like, that's not I'm a defense. The bomb troll. That's not a defense. You've seen my videos. I always. You know, do this. I just. I always threaten. What, bomb are you, what are you talking about? I always a public nuisance. All right, let's go into Daniel Larson quick here. Okay. So, so Daniel Larson, we've covered him on and off again on the show. Uh, when there's been incidents with him and stuff like that. But we've always kind of held back a little bit from it because at the end of the day, this is somebody that's clearly very mentally ill, yeah, somebody that's very like very schizophrenic, that's suffering, that just has like a very so tenuous far. grasp on reality. And he's being puppeteered by a bunch of teenagers, <laughs> like little kids who are basically trying to be the next Clyde cashla based epic troll and get their name in internet history as though they did this or that. But they're actually just psychotic, like unhinged, like little shits that shouldn't be involved in any of this. It got to the point where like the weens of Larson, oh, the roaring thunder. <laughs> the weens of this guy, because this guy is like attracted to minors. He is like a pet. He's a pure and we're He's sending him these trolls or these weens, whatever you want to call them, of Larson's. We're sending him child porn for him to match to, and then like trying to call the police on him for the child porn. Like, this is like just like the tip of the iceberg of like all the weird gay ops that were going around on this guy. Yeah, you had. You had people trying to act like they were his handler or his manager and putting weird ideas into his head. And this guy was just like suffering. Like he's just a total vagrant, homeless bum, wandering from place to place, getting into trouble and having spur outs. The guy almost got trench foot mm -hmm. a few months ago in the winter because he w just walks around all day in the snow and then gets his feet wet like his toenails were coming off due to frostbite this is somebody who probably should not be in public yeah like i actually think that this outcome is the best possible result for no, him realistically is. but what he's been charged with he's been charged with six offenses Which, going by the way, oh, there yeah. is the uh the last clip it was the bomb you bomb you bomb you that was the last one that we covered where he was just screaming, he's going to bomb, the, like, and he's going to attack the, 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 the FBI and go after the FBI. Now, we don't know exactly yeah. what video was the one that got him these charges. Probably all of them combined because there's like a, a lot of threats. He said he's going to bomb the White House about four or five times, yeah. shit like that. Anyway. Sorry. Lord Ramiel is saying it closing the asylum and its consequences. Oh yeah, no, for, for real. real, for real. So these are federal charges, by the way, which it's very serious. The feds have like a ninety-nine percent conviction rate. When the feds charge you, you're probably going down. Because I've heard a lot of people say, "Oh, it's not that serious." Uh, you know, he'll probably get away with a slap on the wrist. But when it's the feds and when you're talking about because he threatened to kill an agent who was actually a real agent investigating the case. When you start threatening federal agents, they take that very seriously and they will f you up the ass. So count one uh, is that he willfully made a threat and maliciously conveyed false information concerning an attempt to unlawfully damage and destroy a building and other real and personal property by means of an explosive. The White Namely, House. Namely, well, no, this one's for a county courthouse in Colorado. Oh. So that, that's <laughs> charge one. Whoa. He threatened to blow up the courthouse. Uh, then we go to the next uh, slide here. Okay. We have count two. Uh, he attempted, he said that he was going to blow up a nonprofit center in Lakewood, Colorado. Then on wow. charge three, he That's... said he was going to blow up the White House. Um, charge four, go to the next. Yeah. Uh, he said he was going to blow up a state government building in Colorado. Count five, he was going to blow up a college campus in Colorado. Uh, and then charge six is the FBI agent. 
<laughs> threatening to kill the FBI agent. That's awful. Uh, so each of these charges is uh, 10 years imprisonment, a $250,000 fine or both. And actually it's seven charges. Six of them are 10 years. One of them is five years. So he faces a maximum sentence of 65 years. Now, realistically, he's not going to serve 65 years. He probably will be found guilty on all of these because, for one, I mean, he he did it did, live on on videotape. <laughs> like he right. taped himself committing the crimes, <laughs> so it's pretty open and shut that he did threaten these things to happen. But what will probably happen is they'll serve it concurrently, so he'll get ten years, maybe at worst, and then with good behavior, he might be out in five. Or it might be that, you know, it really just depends. Yeah, it's you all. Know, yeah. I, I'm no lawyer and nobody online here really has any true grasp of the law, even though we're all armchair legal experts or whatever the f But uh, this is essentially what's going on. Uh, now, if we go to the next all right. slide, we have his mug shot. This okay. is the most recent. Uh, Daniel Larson mugshot. He, he looks fucked. like an alien. Yeah, he's fucked. He knows it's over. Um, Ooh. damn. Hey, he's like, okay. So this is the phone call, right? Not one of the phone calls. Honestly, we could go to the next phone call. Yeah, because yeah. It, I was gonna say this longer one, yeah. right? So this longer phone call basically explains the whole situation. This is one of his trolls talking to him from prison and what he does uh, it's amazing to me is because these calls are all recorded and monitored he admits to doing the crimes like within the first minute of the call <laughs> imagine being his lawyer you're just like all right well we're like, now like i will say the one upside and this is what everybody's been saying it's not really a hot take but the one upside of this potentially is that not only will Larson get f***ed, but that the feds might start looking into the trolls that were puppeteering Larson yeah. and felt them as well. Yeah. Because a lot of the shit they were doing was it like, like the child distribution, for instance, is illegal. Yeah. And like the, the stuff they were doing is certainly unethical. Like you're puppeteering a schizophrenic lunatic into being a public nuisance well, if for the citizens of Colorado. Like e even if you're texting him and telling him to threaten an FBI person, FBI yeah. agent, like that's very illegal. So like, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this. You may start the conversation now. <gasps> Jesus Christ, Daniel. Oh, wait, this guy live streamed the call. <laughs> That's wise. Yeah, I can hear you. How are you, bud? Oh, my God. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, <laughs> are, are, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm in federal prison, but, you know, I'm I'm doing okay. It could be worse. I mean, it really could be. The guy is, like, actually homeless in the freezing winter cold, getting frostbite, losing his toe. Like, it's awful. Yeah. So... I mean, three hots in a cot may not really be the worst for him. Like, God, I won't believe they're feeding me meals in here. <laughs> Pretty much got me. The feds this got time, you? The, like, yeah, this time the feds got me. And Bob told me that it wasn't going to happen if he didn't believe me. And See, here's why Bob never believed him. Like, Daniel's been arrested, like, seven times that we know. Yeah. He always gets away with it. And we're just like, wow, it's pretty crazy. He's, like, immune to the law. Well, is this even the real Bob that he's talking <laughs> to? Probably not. It's probably not even the real Bob. True. Yeah. Yesterday, and sure enough, the feds were there, and they charged me with seven counts of... From the threats that I did. Like, they charged me with seven counts of threats from the threats that I made. So there he just openly confesses to the crime. Oh, shit. I did it. Oh, I mean, you know, how can you even deny it? I mean, it's on tape, but. You know, like. Falsehood. Yep. Under, under federal court. 
Holy shit. Yeah, so, guys, apparently threatening to bomb the White House isn't a joke. All right. Shit. Um, and, and not only that. that <laughs> told me I could bomb the White Rikita House. Rikita told me I could threaten to kill federal agents <laughs> and bomb the White House. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is this guy is getting f so, like you said, though, it's probably better for all of society. Seriously, it yeah. really is. It really and is. him, true. Yeah, and him, yeah. So they think Bob was also committing fraud as well? <laughs> What? Wait, Bob's now implicated in fraud? It's because not the real Bob. <laughs> it's not the real Bob. I think it's trolls that were feeding him money. And yeah, Grun Apple's right. Like oh. apparently the weens are getting in trouble and are being investigated. Now I think it's highly optimistic to believe that the feds would ever actually do something useful, like felting the weens that were ruining this guy's life and making a spectacle and a public nuisance of him that bothered other people but you never know maybe this time we can ring up a glowy dub yeah who wants to believe i want to believe believe in the glowies <laughs> Shit. and what why did they the, take the thing is though right like knowing daniel and how like mentally ill he is you know he didn't delete a single message. No. Like, there was no, like, they didn't have to put the phone in, like, a recovering, like, deleted messages thing or anything. No. They opened the phone and went, it's all here. Literally. It's all here. It's all here. He probably well, he told them, here's where you find this and this. Yeah, and this. yeah he probably told them everything, you know? Property of Larson League. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I missed your call last night because I didn't have my uh, debit card or my cr credit card with me. And I was like, all right, I'll just have to wait till tomorrow. Everyone right, said... You don't worry. Don't worry about that. Okay. It's okay. Um, I did also talk to the public defender. Um, I have court on Monday. Okay. Okay. And it is federal court. They were oh, man. Quite risk all the oh, no. Oh, no. I'm just laughing because he's such a piece of shit to everyone he's well, ever, like, interacted you know, with. Most people who ever had any sympathy for him would just said, fuck you, <laughs> is when he just started beating Bob's ass in the car. Yeah. Like, yeah. when he started assaulting Bob, the only guy who ever tried to help him out in any sort of way or give him any sort of proper guidance, and he just treated him like his human ATM and beat the fuck out of him, and we covered that on the show. And honestly, Bob, though, ended up beating him up. Yeah. In the end, like he lost the fight to like an elderly man, which is Remember? So and then he felt funny. himself in the the hotel room. Like, yeah. Aah! And then right after that was when the fog era happened. Yeah. Where... <laughs> They're looking at trying to put me in um property like, of Larson Lee. Higher security penalty. Jeez. So he's gonna be in like max. Max security? <laughs> Max <Whoa>. the federal. <laughs> That's brutal, dude. I, I'm imagining Holy. like Silence of the Lambs. Like he's in <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there next to Megs. Meg throws his cum at him. Would basically be basic housing, you know, just like if I got really they're saying that yes, I would Oh it does then okay, thanks. The fog era predates the Bob attack. Okay. okay. There we go. <laughs> we got to get this lore straight. It's really <laughs> valuable. It's, 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 no, it's, it's, it's early it's, Lars and lore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 public defender was saying that with me being homeless five years and being out cold weather, I'm going to die and I'm panicking. So, question. <laughs> pause. Yeah. Is he actually going to go to Florence Supermax in Colorado? Like, is that where he is right now? 
There's no way they actually sent him to Florence Supermax, is there? That's like the most brutal. Pre- like that's where they put the Unabomber and uh, the Oklahoma City bomber, and like pretty much like the most violent and depraved criminals go to the worst prison, which is this Florence Supermax. Is he actually there? So he, you know, you're saying he's in county? Okay, we're well, saying he's in federal prison. I was like, are they treating him like a DC? F- you know, Ar- this is like Arkham Asylum style. Oh, yeah. Like, what the hell? <laughs> People are asking for the bomb you clip. I'll find it. I'll find it. Okay. And I didn't mean to press. I don't know how to make explosives, stuff like that. They well, I that know. Well, you know. Go ahead. You know, like, this is his defense. Like, his entire defense is just to say, look, I'm a oh, retarded yeah. schizophrenic, oh, and I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And and just plead like mercy to the court. It, that's all he can really do is plead guilty and plead for mercy. Cause, but I don't know if they're gonna give him any. But let's hear. I want to hear what they said to him when he said this. He's like, "Look, I'm too r- to make a bomb. Like, what do you want me to do?" You know. That is true. You know, and that is, I guess, a good defense. Yeah. Um, that's perfect to say. I would listen to your public defender because he's 100% right. There's no way you could actually make a bomb or do anything that you said. Right, and I don't have a violent history. Yeah. Like anything Pause. Like Her Wagner goes, remember Arabandi and his bomb prank? Yeah. This guy's f- yeah. F- done, dude. You're right, man. Well, yeah. okay, like, okay, is he too f- to make a bomb? Yes. Yeah. Do they want to set a precedent and allow people to just do this shit? No. So they're going to arrest him. Like This is like a I, hey. I think, honestly, what it came down to was that he just kept f***ing up so many times. Like, he was such a nuisance to the public. And then it just became, like, a bigger and bigger thing with all these trolls getting involved and stuff like that. It just became such a headache that I think mm. they just want to send him down for a while. Yeah. They yeah. just want to time him out. Being concerned that judge I don't appreciate that. that. Is that it's one step away from doing so, and that's their concern. If I get back out, and they're also concerned that if I get back out, I will go back on social media. Property of Larson Lee. Yeah, well, that's and, what's going to happen. Yeah. Right. And that's what the judge said. And you know what? Okay, doing a little bit of time. You know, <laughs> well, it could be a time. lot. It could be a lot of time. I mean, you're you're fighting for your life on these charges, and the feds don't charge you unless you're. They know they're going to get a conviction most of the time. Yeah. So he's going to have to plea deal, and God only knows what sort of deal he's going to get. It's not just going to be a little time. He's going to be doing years. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you think also that this is like the feds have obviously seen everything else he's been up to, right? I think so. And they're well, yeah. just like, and they're just like, well, they, yeah, for sure they are, but or have. They're just like this guy can't be out. Like Grace Vanderwall is being like constantly harassed by. Yeah, well, him. in this call, he actually tries to tell them to contact Grace Vanderwall. <laughs> <laughs> He hits the fire alarm at every like <laughs> every time he he can. Be good, you know, and then create more issues, right? Oh, yeah. I agree. I mean, you you did well with your um, twenty-seven days. So. Okay. Right, all of you. Okay. okay. I'm gonna get Grace's number. I'm gonna get. <laughs> My public defender also said that they were gonna reach out to Grace. Okay. So what? They might reach out to you. They out to Greece, but I did tell them that yes, we are engaged and they're going to try to reach out to her. Okay. They're engaged. Yeah, the guy Googles her and goes, wait, I what? The public defender, I think, is fibbing to him. Do you know what I mean? Yes, of course. Oh, buddy. Okay. Um, Property of Larson Lee. Know that, like, I'm okay and, you know, they wanted to see what so are the are the charges like threats against the government or something like so those? I guess, I guess they're they're considering they're calling it interstate threats. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> they're call, they're call, oh no! They're calling it the interstate. Way, <laughs> the way that he just so innocently and naively says 
yeah, they're uh, they're calling it an interstate threat. Like, sir, like this is so to- bad. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. You're so screwed, bro. <laughs> no, oh. that's not good, dude. Um. All right. I, I have a bit of the clip. Uh, at 18 seconds, he stops saying the N-word. Uh, all right. Show them. This is yeah. why. This is part of the reason why. Yeah. But yeah. he did this multiple times, threatened to bomb yeah. stuff. I will bomb your house till the day you f- die. Bomb you. Bomb you. Bomb you. Bomb you. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Call the feds on me, you f***ing liar! Yeah, this is... Well, he asked for them bomb, to be called. Bomb! Bomb! Alright, so... By the way, it's not like the... That video's crazy. Like, I... Fr- <laughs> I was screaming, bomb you, in my house the other day. Like, I was just like, I saw the clip. I just couldn't stop saying, bomb you, all day. Bomb you! <laughs> yeah, he never said, in Minecraft... That was his biggest problem. No, actually... He missed out on the well-known legal loophole that if you just say in Minecraft after your statement, you, there's nothing the lawyers... Not. There's nothing the criminal justice system can do. They just can pound sand and cry out their... V- no, no. As you walk free. They actually arrested some guy, and he said in Minecraft, but they revoked his in and Minecraft no, statement. Yeah. That's not fair! <laughs> Forgive me. It's not fair. How can they do that? He's playing by the rules. The no, thing is, you, man. He didn't, the problem was he wasn't adapting to the new meta. Mm. You understand? Because there was a patch, there was an update in the oh. criminal justice system. The new get out of jail free card. If you remember, it was mm. am I being detained? Mm. Then it was in Minecraft. Now it's but Nick Ricada told me yeah, I yeah, could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if he had just said, if Nick Ricada, Nick Ricada told me, then mm-hmm. it would be legal. That's... But he forgot the new update. Recorded by Clark and Associates. After like comments you made one time. Dude. Oh, so they had to fully evacuate a government building, huh? Yeah, he's. Yeah, that's, he's... That's... <laughs> the, fe- the feds are not gonna let him off too easy. Yeah. Know. They evacuate like the whole building or something. Yep, and they brought in bomb sniffing dogs. Jesus. Christ. And they brought bomb sniffing dogs. So all these resources had to be wasted. Because of this schizophrenic idiot and the stupid trolls puppeteering him. It's great. Wait! <laughs> what the fuck? Is this? <laughs> this proves how stupid the feds are. Well. <laughs> I mean. Oh, no. I mean, you know, like. Well, then if the bomb went off, they'd be as stupid for not investigating, right? They can't. You know, right? Wait, listen. You can't be like the guy who trolls the feds with bomb threats and go like, wait, what do you mean? You know me. I'm the guy who I, I'm, I'm the, the bomb troll. You can't, um, like, that's not I'm a defense. The bomb troll. That's not a defense. You've seen my videos. I always You know, do I this. just, I always threaten what bomb are you, threats. What are you talking about? I always a public nuisance <laughs> that ruins people's days. Yeah, and like, government money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, why would they even waste their time? They know who you are. Right. Right. Like, like, imagine being a taxpayer in Colorado. And your hard-earned money went to this shit. <laughs> I would be f-ing losing it. Now. <laughs> I am. I don't know why they're gonna waste their time. And then, and not only that, the FBI is still saying things about you. Um, and not only you, but Al's uh, Discord server. And I know. 
Oh no! Who? Oh no! I told you! I told oh, you! Oh no! The Discord server! Ooh! It looks like some of these weenies might be getting cooked over an open fire, bud! And how oh, many of these guys. No. The CP filled what, Discord. What's weenies, oh, no. by the way? What is that? Is, is that, that just like the name for the people who a go ween? out? A ween? Like a ween is like a. It's like an advanced version of an A log. Oh. That's like infinitely more. Re okay. Okay. Yeah. And you know, they pulled all the, all the data, like the IPs. Yeah. Like, are they using VPNs? Probably not. Let's. Fed W, ring, ring it up, Fed W. <laughs> Hope they use NordVPN, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what were they? Yeah, basically, oh. Richie, Rich, you know, like a ween is an A log that's like all willing to commit crimes. Or, oh, they're, okay. they're basically like they're the definition and stuff. Of, they're the ones that touch the poo. Is Ooh. what a ween is Ooh. really. I don't know. All right. Jesus Christ, this is a whole mess now. A mess. No, 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 no. You want them to think you're crazy. Like, that's your only out. You think they're trying to call me crazy. Yeah. Is this true? So, Tangent Angela in chat saying the guy talking to him lost his job, his girlfriend, and flunked out of school to troll Daniel. What? That's what a ween is, folks. That's psycho shit. I don't know if that's true. But I, that, I believe it. it. I mean, maybe. Well, Dude, why would you lie? And I mean, was it McDougal that McDougal that picked you up, or was it different? Secret so server? they all thought that Secret Agent Dougal wasn't real, but it turns out that he actually was real. <laughs> this whole it time, does sound like a and fake that name. No? no, Secret Agent McDougal. It sounds like a fake what? name. Like I'm gonna press oh, X no. to doubt. They got him in an interview room and he sang like a canary. Look, we're your friends. Yeah. I don't really care that you threatened to yeah. kill me. Now, can you tell us some more about these guys that you're talking to online? What have they been doing? Well, they're the ones that sent me the child. Oh, really? Whoa. Can you tell me some more about that? You know, like, it's... Uh, but what about the child Which, yes, it's a concern, and I shouldn't have done it. You know? Um, but I Yeah, it's like, I guess he's trying to do his job, but then he knows you so well. He knows the threats aren't shouldn't be considered right. real. He knows, he knows that they're not real threats. Uh-huh. They're, they're just they're bringing the, the, charges. <laughs> they're, they're, they're bringing he charges. Knows, he no. knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. They told me they're not real. You so they're know. definitely not going to send me to jail forever. Federal prison forever. Definitely not. <laughs> Someone was like, Scruff, you know, Scruff told me. <laughs> Scruff, you know, you can Scruff. trust every word that the agents of law enforcement tell you. <laughs> they're your friends and they're there to help you. They're there to serve and protect you and your interests. So tell them everything. His concern was he asked me to stop threatening him. The first time, and I never did. Yeah, that's a concern. I like how the Fed was like, could you stop threatening me and I won't arrest you? And it's like, he finds another video like, I gotta arrest this guy. <laughs> and, and I guess that is his point. He did, ask, he did ask me to stop saying that I was an actual lawyer before because I was still... Like wait, so... <laughs> wait, so... So, okay, I'm just going to say this right now. If a federal agent came to me and started questioning me about A-logging anybody on this show, I would not continue A-logging that person. Do you know what I mean? 
if a federal agent came to me and started telling me, hey, you can't just pretend to be a lawyer, like you can't just do this shit, then you got to stop. Imagine doubling down at the point where federal agent McDougal is showing up and refusing to bow down. This guy's going to get f***ed in the ass who's calling Larson, dude. This is not good. This is not good, man. What are you thinking? This is they're, so... they're federal agent maxing. Holy. Law student, and he did get mad about that. That was a thing that started the whole thing. Wait, so the feds get mad at him? He's like, yo, you gotta stop doing that? For me. Yeah, I'm a langist. At least he gets mentioned in the Larson Internet documentary. Holy you know? Yeah, exactly, right? Holy. It was under crazy circumstances. Yeah. People were lying. First thing to see. Everyone in chat's just saying that McDougal's in a cat, like, promoted, like, like catching Larson. <laughs> like, you get, like, a bad. <laughs> it's be a Netflix documentary, yeah. Catching Larson. Yeah, catch <laughs> Catching Larson. <laughs> The manhunt for Daniel Larson in the weeds. Uh, catching a re to catch a schizo. <laughs> to catch a